ever wondered what sound really is? All sound that we hear comes from things that vibrate. When something vibrates, it moves back and forth. Take a look at this guitar string. When I pluck it, you can see it moving back and forth or vibrating. Even our voices come from the vibrations of our vocal cords. You can actually feel this by placing your hand gently on your throat while speaking or singing. Okay, so all sound comes from vibrations. But how do these vibrations make their way from their source to our ears? The answer is particles. Yes, particles. The air we breathe is made up of tiny particles, also known as molecules, that are so small and spread apart that we can't see them. When an object like a guitar string begins to vibrate, it knocks into the air particles that surround it. That first layer of air particles then knocks into the particles next to it, which then knock into the particles next to them, and so on. This is a chain reaction, much like a line of dominoes, and we call it a wave. When waves of particles reach your face, your outer ear acts like a funnel and directs the particles into your ear canal towards your eardrum. Eardrums are special built-in instruments that you carry around with you everywhere you go. Much like hitting a drum with a drumstick, waves of particles hit your eardrums and cause them to vibrate. This begins yet another chain reaction. The vibration of the eardrum shakes a tiny bone next to it called the hammer which shakes a tiny bone next to it called the anvil, which shakes another tiny bone next to it called the stirrup. The stirrup stirs up waves of liquid inside a spiral snail-like structure called the cochlea. These waves move tiny hairs attached to the walls of the cochlea. A nerve senses the hair's movement and sends this information to your brain, which recognizes it all as sound. Feel free to pause the video here if you'd like to fill out the parts of an ear diagram that I've linked below. But what makes one sound different from another? Why don't all sounds sound the same? Because all sound comes from things that vibrate, different types of vibration create different sounds. Things that vibrate very quickly create particle waves that are closer together. They have high-pitched sounds. Things that vibrate very slowly create particle waves that are farther apart. They have low pitch sounds. When a sound creates waves in the cochlea's liquid, not all of the cochlea's hairs move. Certain hair cells in your ear's cochlea are more stiff and they only respond to fast waves. Other hair cells in the cochlea are more flexible and they only move in response to slow waves. In fact, every pitch you hear has its own area of the cochlea where hairs will only move in response to its specific pattern of waves. So different vibrations and the particle waves they produce play your cochlea just like our fingers might play different keys on a piano. Wow, there is so much going on right inside your own ears. Now that we know all this, let's have some fun playing with pitch. Let's make music with water glasses. For this activity, you will need a pitcher of water, a towel or rag to clean up spills, unless you're doing this outside on a nice day, then you may not need one. You will need several water glasses. In my house, we use jars mainly for water glasses, so I've got a selection of jars here. And you will need something to strike the sides of your glasses with. I recommend using a pencil. You can use a piece of silverware, like a fork or a spoon, but if you do that, you might end up breaking the glasses if you hit them too hard. So a pencil is a good way to make sure that doesn't happen, and it still sounds really nice. To get started, tap each of the glasses you set out with your pencil. If all of your glasses are the same shape and size, they should sound roughly the same because they're making the same type of vibration. However, if your glasses are different shapes and sizes, each one will make a different type of vibration. Some will vibrate really fast and make high pitch sounds, and some will vibrate more slowly and make low pitch sounds. If you'd like to stop a sound that you've made, simply place your hand on the side of a glass and it'll stop the vibration.
We can also change the way each glass vibrates by adding and taking away water. Glasses with more air in them will generally sound higher because they're able to vibrate more quickly. Glasses with less air in them will generally sound lower because the water slows down the vibration. Play around with how much water you put in each glass and see if you can make a song. You could make up your own song or play one that you already know. Here are a few songs that I played with my glasses. See if you can guess what they are. Thank you so much for learning a little bit more about sound with me today. I hope you have a ton of fun playing with different vibrations and the sounds that they create.